depending on your camera settings, underwater photography can come out pretty well or you can kind of sometimes get these strange color tints and color distortions with them. Um, in this example, I actually have in the video description, you can download the Creative Commons support file if you want, um, or just open up an underwater photo that just kind of has a strange color cast, and a lot of them has this kind of greenish tint to it, and I'll show you how we can fix it. Um, so we have the background layer. Go ahead and press Control j on the PC or Command-J on the Mac, and that'll duplicate our layer so we can compare it with the original. We'll do a couple techniques here. Now, we could just try to adjust the levels so if we went to adjustment layer on the bottom of the layers palette and then levels and instead of RGB if I just went to red and green you know and made the white arrow on the that one's kinda of fine uh, you know you want the white arrow right where the you know, the highlights right where the edge of the pixels are and then the black one so that one I really want to edit and then blue I really want to edit I can maybe bring it down there but um, if you notice on the red though, there's no real pixels here. If I bring it way down, it kind of distorts it, doesn't really uh, fix it really. Alright, so if I go back to layers, I'm going to delete that layers adjustment or adjustment layer. And um, if I go to the channels palette, you can kind of see what the problem is. If I just look at the red channel, you know, not as much detail as compared to the green or the blue. So what we need to do is, uh, with this top layer selected, click on the layer adjustment down at the bottom, adjustment layer, and just go to channel mixer. We're going to bring this green a little bit over to the right, and it looks better already. Uh, you can really exaggerate, bring it too much to the right, and it'll uh, become too reddish, right? So it's a matter of balancing it probably right about there. And you can see the red, if I brought it over to the left, it would kind of distort it, though. I, I want to keep that at 100%. And the green, I'm just bringing over just a little bit there. Probably about plus 87 in this example. So I'll go back to Layers Palette, click that bottom layer again, or Layer 1, and click the Layers Adjustment in the bottom of the Layers Palette again and let's go ahead and go to levels and now let's go to red and you can kind of see real good exaggerate if we bring it too far over so just bring that down just a bit um, bring these midtones back up to the middle somewhat and then if we go to green in this example I'm not really going to move it or blue um, maybe a little bit over there but mainly red I'm bringing down but then I'm bringing those midtones back up to the right alright and there you go just a simple technique to make it look a little bit more realistic you can see the original there a little bit too greenish hue to it and then the new uh, more balanced look alright you can uh, experiment with a couple other settings for example if you create another adjustment layer it's just hue saturation and select cyans and you can kind of see bringing some of that little bit of the blue back in but in this example I don't think it's too bad um, maybe plus a little bit you can look at the reds and we that really doesn't do too much because it's not holding a lot of red in there alright so depending on the example that you're using a lot of these different uh, hues could be adjusted slightly but that's just kind of an optional step um, but that's just one way to adjust the color, color correct underwater photos. A lot of the lenses and a lot of the cameras out now uh, don't have as much problem with that, but sometimes um, in certain lighting conditions, even with the more higher end lenses, you might have an interesting color cast, so this is just one way to fix it. Thanks.